Okay, well, good morning. It is it is a, a foggy, chilly morning out today. The rooster is still crowing. It's bright and early. I went to sleep really early last night, like maybe quarter at ten or something like that, which is really odd for me, but I did. I was tired. It was a long day yesterday. So I had a great day at the shop. I was working yesterday. We, did, we had a good day. So <clears throat> anyway, this is my What Sold video for the first two weeks of July 2018. So I'm going to go ahead and get started on them. So are you ready? I'm ready. First thing we sold was a blank screen. There it is. A Harry Potter die. Just just one die. And uh, basically I paid I paid nothing for this. Um but it's been listed for since October tenth, two thousand fifteen. So three years. And uh it sold July first and I got I got six bucks free shipping. So that's that. You know, uh, okay, so alright, next. Ah, oh, my throat feels a little funny. Must be a lack of coffee. And uh, whatever this stuff is, flaxseed fiber, a couple bags of it. I had six bags of these. I got at Walmart. I sold them off in pairs. And uh, let's see, I paid uh, ten, I paid five bucks a bag, so ten bucks for the pair. And I listed April 28th, sold July 1st for $29.89 free shipping. And they went in a, they fit into a, uh, oh, what's that thing, uh, flat rate, uh, bubble, the padded, padded bubble. They felt they went in there, so, so, uh, yeah, I did alright with those, pretty happy with that price, so, next. I actually had a, uh, some stuff I wanted to share with you that uh, I bought at Goodwill the other day on the way back from Tioga Downs. But I'm going to wait and just do a haul video and show you that stuff. It's not a lot, but it's a little bit. So this is not going to be coming out, right? Yep, there's those stupid ads. Okay. A tie. We sold a tie. A tractor trailer. I paid a buck for it. Listed it July t last year. Sold it July first, and I got sixteen fifty plus tax and plus shipping tax, plus tax, plus shipping. So yeah, it's kind of a neat looking thing, ge kind of geometric and stuff there. So it's just neat looking. So all right, next. I don't sell very many times. I get kind of excited when one sells. So all right, next. And what do we got? It is going to be a. Come on. Come on. Oh, I can't believe it does that. It's a boss school. Is that, is that how you say it? It was peanut butter back in the back in the day. Uh, these are hyacinths at flower glass. These typically do not sell. They used to sell very, very well. Uh, they're not anywhere near as good as they used to be. Like, I mean, they were highly collectible at probably 10 15 years ago some of them actually sold in the hundreds of dollars but I, I don't think you can get that money for them anymore so this one let's see uh, I paid 10 cents for it and I bought it in a big lot of, of stuff so I listed it July 10th last year sold it July 1st this year and I got 12 bucks plus shipping 12 bucks plus shipping. So, next. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Boy, that computer's slow today. Alright, I must have to get a new computer. This is one, I guess it is four or five years old now. It's been around a little bit. So, it might be time. But I'm wanting to do that right now so uh, well it's not a matter of not wanting it's not a matter of not wanting to do that right now it's a matter of not being able to figure out a way to afford to buy one right now so let's see work harder Dave work harder that, that usually works 
All right, I paid three bucks for this lot of this uh, plastic melmac y kind of thingy stuff, and uh, I, I really I thought it was great. That orange color, I thought it was cor coral cream color or whatever you want to call it. Pretty just pretty neat. Anyway, uh, let's see. I paid three bucks for. It. I listed it. It's been, it was listed a long time, November fifteenth, two thousand sixteen. So it's a couple years, and I sold it July second, and I got thirty bucks. Thirty bucks plus shipping. So. That's why it took so long, because I had it priced high. I had to wait for just the right buyer. Is that Inca? Thought I heard Inca. I think people are waking up. That was the first one up this morning. That does not happen very often, let me just tell you that. Next. Now, if I was living in Florida, it would be different, because in Florida... It's nice waking up really early and getting out and smelling the, the air. and the, It's just nice out in Florida in the mornings. So, At least when I was there. But, you know, rose-colored glasses and all. So, anyway, uh, Pyrex. A Pyrex Woodland Bowl. Now, I, I listed all, all my Pyrex a long time ago before I went to the shop. I listed a lot of it last summer. So, uh, now I'm in the shop. I would probably put most of my Pyrex in the shop now so I wouldn't have to ship it. But uh, this one, let's see. I paid a dollar for this. I listed it September 5th last year. Yep, September 5th. Sold it July 2nd. I only got 10 bucks for it, plus shipping. So, And that was typically probably a $10, a $10 bowl even at the shop. But if I got 10 bucks at the shop, there's no fees. So, anyway. Yeah, and no, you know, so, uh, you know. Uh... Although I did drop and shatter a big yellow Pyrex mixing bowl at the shop there when I moved it around there uh, earlier this year. So, oh well, that's a thing. Next. No insurance that way. Next. Come on, come on, come on. Ah, oh, morning, Inca. Good morning, little girl. Okay, Graphis Magazine. I got these at a house I cleaned out, and so I didn't pay anything for them. I listed them October 13th last year, sold July 3rd, and I only got 10 bucks plus shipping for the pair of magazines. They're thick, kind of more like book-type magazines, but uh, yeah, so I was chat because I got them free. I, I love when I sell stuff that I get for free. It's just, it's just cool, you know, so that's good. All right, next. Oh, come on. And that's, a, this is a, this is a, it's a book. This one and this one. Come on. And, 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 and my pages aren't working right again. So, Yep, there was two of them, and I had them listed for quite a while. I had higher prices on them, but you got to be kidding me. Ugh, hold on a minute. Okay, anyway, yeah, those two books, uh, they... Let's see, I had nothing in them, so it's not a big deal. I didn't have anything in them. I only I sold them, uh, I, don't, I don't know when I listed them. That's how long it's been. It's been forever since I listed them. But uh, they sold July 3rd, and I got a buck a piece for those two books. And uh, they paid for shipping. It was media mail shipping. But uh, but uh, I, it was nice to see those go off my shelf, to see them go away. I, I thought they would do better than what they did. They just It's just one of those things. So... They are they are out of here. Anyway, uh, I I guess I'm gonna have to start screenshotting all these pages instead of having web pages open because eBay's got ads that they put in there and it keeps making the pages flop back and forth and look stupid. So I won't be able if I do that though I won't be able to show other pictures. Like if I wanted to pull up one of these pictures, I wouldn't be able to with a screenshot. So or maybe it's just my internet connection is not as good as it used to be. Not that it would, no, not really, no, because I had Frontier, and Frontier just sucks. So, 
At least here. At least here. I mean, other places it's probably good. But so anyway, I, I gotta go back to this. So it's a game, not a game. It's a puzzle, and uh, it's a Golden Guild 1,000 piece puzzle. I I got it for free somewhere. I think at uh, one house I cleaned out a couple years ago, and the guy where the guy was an airline pilot. I think I got it from there, and I listed it February 8th, 2018. Sold it. July, you see, you gotta be kidding me, eBay. See that? You see that? It just jumps and, and those ads show up. Instead of having it down where I want it to be. Yeah, so, okay. That's great. Thanks, eBay. Um, sold it for $9.75 plus shipping. $9.75 plus shipping. So, that was, it wasn't, it had never been opened. So, it was, uh, it was used, but I had it as unopened. So, uh, it was kind of kind of like new, but not really like new, because even though it was open, the box had some wear and stuff on it. So, but still, um, I'll take it. Nine seventy five for a puzzle. I'm happy with that. So next, please don't have the ads again. You do. I just went through and fixed all these so that it wouldn't do this. There it is, a gas cap for some kind of a Briggs and Stratton mower, and uh, I got this at Walmart. For a buck, I paid. I listed it September 10th last year. Sold it July 4th. Eleven dollars free shipping. All right, next. Okay, what was that? What is that? Yeah, see, I just went through and fixed all these, and it, it just changed them all again. So that's nice. Thomas and Friends, uh, a pair of pair of uh, cars, cars for train cars. Paid a buck for the pair. I listed them July 19th. Sold July, or July 19th last year. Sold July 5th. And I got 12 bucks. Free shipping. And they, they went first class. So. Alright, next. I'm not really making a killing on any of this stuff, it doesn't seem like. I'm not, I'm not just beating things up. But that's okay. I think the highest one, well, no, uh, I'm not going to go there. So I'm going to talk about that. So. All right, these two filters. And I, I'm not sure if these were the last of them or not. They might have been. I might not have any of the, any of the filters that I bought a long time ago. I paid uh, I paid a buck for, let's see, I paid a buck each on these. So I listed them November 16th, 2016. Sold July 5th for... $20 plus shipping. 20 bucks plus shipping. So they must be getting harder to find. They are a Walmart brand, so, you know, but they must be, maybe they're getting, maybe they discontinued that filter or something. So anyway, next. And this is just a, a, a like a hoodie towel, a hooded towel for kids. This is the last one that I had. I had multiple ones and, uh, this one somehow didn't somehow didn't get didn't get included or whatever, and I ended up having it, so I had to redo the redo the listing and relist it again. So anyway, I paid five bucks a piece for these at Walmart, and I listed them May thirtieth. This one, I, this one, I listed May thirtieth. The other ones I listed last year, so uh, and I sold it July fifth for twelve bucks, uh, free shipping. So next, and it they went first class. Next. Can and Jarlite. I keep reaching over for more coffee and it's gone. Ugh, the horror. This is a light, light blue one. Or light green, however you want to call it. I think it's light green. Yeah, light green. Let's see. Uh, I paid 79 cents. Listed it September 30th. Sold it July 6th for 719 plus shipping. Next. And another Can and Jarlite. Is that right? Did I do? Well, actually, three. There were three of them. So I sold them. Let's see. Well, let's see. There were three of these. So I paid a buck eleven for the lot. Listed them October 20th. Sold July 6th for $21.57 plus $3 shipping. So, yeah. I don't get it. I mean, I, I, I'm, I'm glad people buy them, but I'm pretty sure that there's other people selling them cheaper than me. So you know, I don't I don't get it, but they do. So, all right. Uh, next, I 
air conditioning covers. Two of them. I bought these at Walmart last, I think last fall. When they, they went on clearance or in winter time or something. Let's see, where are they at here on my thing? There's that. Okay, yep. Yeah, duck air conditioning. I paid, paid a buck a piece. I listed them, I listed them April 25th, so I must have got them this spring. April 25th and sold them July 6th for 20 bucks. Free shipping. And they, pretty sure they went in a flat rate envelope. So, yeah, next. And he has seen better days. This little Hot Wheels, it's a, it's an old red line. Um, if you don't know what red lines are, they are in the late 60s and early 70s. And later, I think, the, the original, the original Hot, Hot Wheels cars that came out had red lines on the wheels. These ones are pretty, I don't know if I got any pictures don't really have any pictures of the wheels better than that they are they're pretty rough let's see if we can get a little closer yeah you can kind of see on that back one you can see the little red line going around them and even beat up some of the cars sell pretty well especially if you find a pink one so keep that in mind uh, makes me really wish that I hadn't smashed all mine up and left them all sit out to get all beat up worse than this one did when I was a kid so uh, but I did. That's why these are so expensive, because so many of us boys did it. We just trashed them. And uh, so that's good. But this one's pretty, this was pretty whooped. I think I picked this up at the niche. I think I gave a buck for it. Let's see. No, I didn't. It says I, I didn't pay anything for it, so I'm not sure where I got that at. I'm not sure where I got it. It wasn't that long ago, but I didn't pay anything for it. So, uh, listed it June 15th, sold it. July 6th and I got $20. I sold it at auction. I ran, I had to run it, I think, two or three times before it, before it got a bid and got paid for. And it was free shipping on it. So 20 bucks for an old Hot Wheels car is pretty good. But if you want to look them up, you know, and get a little more information about them, there's plenty of them online available. And they have to watch out because the red lines were still on them later on, but they're just not as, they're not as valuable as the early ones. And then they, I think in the 90s, was it the 90s or the early 2000s, they redid the red lines and, and started putting them back on the cars again. And uh, they they look different, but if you don't know any better, that you could think you're buying something that's worth money and it's not really. <laughs> so, all right. So that was that. Next. It's an it's an ashtray. That looks like it's chipped there, but it's just rounded. It was just rounded. It's the way it came. So, uh, oh, let's see. Kenny's ashtray. I have that. It's Kenny's Steak Pub, Lexington Avenue, in at Fiftieth Street. It's just a little ashtray. I picked this up at the Goodwill for seventy nine cents. Listed at March 16th, sold July 7th, and I got 10 bucks plus shipping. So, and I was really happy because it's just small, so I was happy with that. So, all right, next. And just little poodles. Just, they're just little poodles. Uh, Bone China, I think the biggest one was maybe two and a half inches, something like that. And uh, let's see. I paid $2.40. I think they were probably like 79 cents each or something like that so uh, maybe 69 cents I don't remember but anyway yeah uh, listed them July er, for January 26th sold July 8th wait that can't be right I listed them um, no December 30th last year yeah that's better December 30th last year sold uh, I sold them July 7th and I got eight bucks for all of them and plus shipping so yeah that's all right. Uh, that's pretty good. I'm happy with that. Next. Stocks and Bonds game. It's an old 3M bookshelf game. And I paid a buck for this. I listed it March 1st last year. March 1st last year. Sold it July 7th and I got $20 plus shipping. Next. The roosters down there making a lot of a lot of racket. 
you would think I hardly have any web pages open now. You'd think it would load faster, but it's not. And these cactusy looking looking glasses, they sold uh, for thirty bucks. I had let's see, I paid a buck forty for them. I pay let's see, I listed them January twenty sixth, sold July eighth, and the guy never paid, so non paying bidder, and that was that. So let's see next non paying buyer I should say the odd thing is is he did a buy it now but I must not have immediate payment required and he, he didn't pay for him so that was that so all right next another Pyrex bowl this is the butter print Amish rooster let's see I paid uh, a buck for this I listed it September 1st last year sold it uh, July 8th and I got 18 dollars 18 dollars plus shipping for it so all right next this is a little milk glass uh, yogurt cup maker yogurt ma maker cup for a gadget and uh, I have a bunch of these listed I paid 79 cents Listed uh, March 26th last year, sold June or July 9th for five bucks, five bucks plus shipping, and I'm pretty much happy when they sell for five bucks because I'm not buying them again. I I'm pretty sure yeah that says I paid 79 cents, doesn't it? Yeah, 79 cents. I don't, I don't know why I did that. Usually I buy them, I get the whole gizmo like at at, at uh, Goodwill or something for when it goes on clearance. I get them for 35 cents or something. Yeah, I don't, I don't, uh, I don't usually buy them otherwise, but I must have. So next. Oh, okay. There we go. Back to the ads. Very nice. Very nice. I'm wondering if these ads are in here on the items that I put the uh, on the new items that have the UPC in them. I'll bet you that's what it is. Maybe not though. I, I didn't check the early ones. So. I uh, bought this at Walmart on clearance. I think it was Walmart. Pretty sure it was Walmart. Got them on clearance. Uh, let's see. I paid five bucks for it. Listed it March 18th. Sold it July 9th. And I got $15 free shipping. And they went first class. I think I had two of them. Sold them both. So next. Super slow. All right, star-shaped glass. Remember the days when you'd be on the internet and you'd sign into AOL and it would just take forever for a page. You could go make breakfast, come back, and the page still wasn't loaded. Yes. Yes, and you were patient. All right. Okay. This was. Uh, there were seven of these little little candle holders. I don't recommend selling these, but if you get them for free or super cheap, I paid two bucks for all seven, and uh, I listed them April twelfth. I think I originally had five, four. I originally had four, and I added three more later on. So there's a lot of seven of them, and I listed them April twelfth, sold July eleventh, and I only got ten bucks plus shipping. So uh, like I said, I don't recommend it. But I would still do it if I got them cheap enough. So, next. Come on. Well, I guess there goes my thing. I know there was no UPC on this one. So, there goes my idea about the ads. Um, it's a zigzag cam for a singer. It was 30 cents. I bought a, I bought a, a lot of them for a certain price. So, they worked out to 30 cents each. And I listed them February 15th, 2016, sold July 11th for a dollar. So, uh, and that is simply a dollar plus shipping. That's, I had them priced higher in the past, but I just tried to, just tried to blow them out there. So I ran a bunch of them. Well, I thought I ran it at auction, but it says a dollar. So dollar. All right. I'm good with that. So let me. Fix this up here. 
if I can. There we go. Alright, so next. Um, it's an egg tray. You can put your 14 eggs in there and put them in your fridge and you can pull them out like that. It's really neat. So, uh, anyway, I paid 50 cents. Listed it October 6th last year. Sold July 11th for 15 bucks plus shipping. That was cool. Good deal. All right, next. An electronic guess who game. Let's see. Uh, it was real nice shape. I mean, it was, it was real nice. So they sell across. They sell all different all different prices. Uh, it just it's up to you where you want to price yours at. And I paid a buck for my game. I listed it June nineteenth. Sold it July twelfth for thirty dollars plus shipping. I, I'm still amazed. When I hear people say that something is selling for X amount of money and they come in and say, well, I just want to get rid of it quick. So they drop, so they drop the price by 10 bucks so that it sells real fast. And I'm like, why? Well, okay. Maybe you needed to pay bills. So you need, you know, but I, I, I've gone over this before. So, I mean, yeah, if it's not, if it's not selling, it's one thing, but. If there's a clear indication that an item is selling for thirty dollars and you come in at twenty, I just don't get it. But that, that's okay, you know. I guess you know it helps people get a good deal, so that's a good thing. So and and yeah, so yeah. I don't know why I'm even thinking about that. It doesn't matter. It's what I sold it for that matters. So I got thirty bucks, and I'm happy with what I got for my next. And everybody else is happy with what they got with theirs. These, I had these, uh, these little jiggers. I don't remember where I got them. I'm pretty sure I didn't pay any. I didn't pay anything for them. I listed them October 1st, 2016. They're just two little things you plug into, plug into the wall to, uh, make your house smell nice. And, let's see, uh, October 1st, 2016, sold the July 12th, and I got, I got $15 for, there was two of them, so I sold them, they both sold at the same time, and, uh, I got, so I got 15 bucks free shipping on them, and I was happy that they sold, because they'd been here a long time, and I like that, so, okay, next. And this I've had for Ever. I've had this for so long. Let's see. It's a, I paid two bucks for it. I listed it July 24th, 2016. So it's been listed for two years. I thought it would sell much faster. It didn't. And it, like all this kind of stuff, it all seems to go to California. And it did. It went to California. So, uh, I listed July 24th, 2016. Sold july 13th and i got 18 dollars plus shipping and i was happy 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 so all right next come on come on zumba pretty sure this was the last of them i, I don't think i had any i think this was the fourth one and they're all gone very happy that they're all gone so uh i paid i paid nine bucks a piece for these things I listed October 6th last year, sold July 13th, and I only got 12 bucks plus shipping, so that's that. Alright, next. I got my money back, so, so I could put it into something else. A pair of VHS tapes picked up at the Goodwill. I paid a buck for the pair. I listed January 15th, sold July 13th, and I got $20, and I was happy. Happy, happy, 20 free shipping, and they went medium mail, so good. All right, next. My friend John uh, Kearns at the shop. He gave me these. He's uh, he, he's um, he's very kind that way. You know, he uh, he's got his own stuff in there and everything. And, and but he just, you know, I pointed him out to him, and he says, "Yeah, you take them. I don't want them." 
I said, John, I'm gonna sell him. He says, that's all right. That's good. I'm glad. So he's 84, so he can do what he wants. So anyway, I paid nothing for him. I listed him um, July 12th, sold July 13th, and I got $25 free shipping for the pair. And that was a good sale for me. So that's that. So that's everything I sold for the, these two weeks. It's for the first two weeks of July. And uh, I didn't sell anything on the 14th, so that was that. Altogether, I paid $55 for everything that I sold. Oh, excuse me. And my gross sales for the two weeks was $495 from eBay. And let's see, uh, I had the 30 bucks on those, those cactus looking glasses that didn't, that didn't go through. So $465 for the two weeks. That's, that's my sales for the two weeks. So, um, not super exciting, but I made up for it and more at the shop. So, uh, that worked for me. So this can go away. All right. So anyway, y'all have a great day. Thanks for uh, watching my video. I hope and uh, I hope you make a bunch of money. We're going into the fourth. It won't be long. We'll be in fourth quarter, so we need to get stuff listed. I need to get stuff listed. So uh, anyway, y'all have a great day. Take care. Bye bye.